So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the different types of free through terminals. This is a very typical terminal with a internal saddle jumper, as you can see there. There's a specific symbol that you can use for this particular component, which is X2 underscore 2. If I open up ePlan here, I can use the insert center in order for me to search for that symbol. I can go to my NFPA symbol here and under terminals, I can find all my different terminal types, whether it be with, with, with a saddle jumper or without a saddle jumper. So for, in my case, I would it would be here. And as you can see, there it is. With the insert center, I can set this as my favorite and also I can tag it so that I can group them with my commonly used devices. Now that I found it, I can simply drag it to my schematic and place it in between two devices. For example, I have here a circuit breaker and a motor. As soon as I place it, ePlan determines the, the device tag. Since it's my first one, it'll be TB1. Now, with this, with, with this terminal, you have to take into consideration how you orient it. You see how in this terminal there's a there's a graphical line pointing to the circuit breaker. That that would mean this is my internal target, the circuit breaker. To further show you that I can I can generate a a terminal diagram using our our tool here, generate project reports. So you can see in this diagram my my external target is the motor, while my internal target would be the circuit breaker. And then if I were to update this again, there we go. Now the external target is, is the circuit breaker. So be careful how you, you orient this because it matters when it comes to your connection list and your terminal diagram. This is uh, also similar to the one up from the previous example, except it doesn't have a saddle jumper, right? Now, you can simply search for this in the insert center. So this is the X2 underscore NB 